Hey there guys, my name is Chen. welcome back to A Township Tale. Today, by the request of this great fellow right here, we are going to be showing you today how buffs work, but most importantly, stewing and making food, whatever you want to call it. But however, here we go. So, we are at the well right here. This is the first place that you are going to start to want to be able to know anything about buffs or get a rough idea of it. If you want to know where the well is and you're not really sure, go to the town hall area, turn right as soon as you hit it, keep going down the straight path until you hit all these ponds and then come up here which you should see the well right here. If you already know where it is, great, but for anybody that doesn't know, there you go. And what you're going to want to do either with a bucket or ideally a cauldron right here, you're going to want to hook it to this hook and go and get some water from it. And before you ask, no, you can't just go straight to the ponds or any of the trout rivers as those won't work and won't do anything for it. So then once you have done it, make sure to grab it with two hands, the cauldron, because it is heavy, and then you will have water in your cauldron. Next, what you're going to want to do is return back to the tavern for the next part. So the next part of this right here is once you get back to the tavern area, you want to go to the back of here. And before you start cooking anything or making anything, you've got to collect your four main ingredients. Now, I'm going to be using four mushrooms right here as an example of this. And once you've got your cauldron filled with water back, have it on one of these hooks here with a mini fire prepared. We've got some tall grass here to go and place down to start a fire. And that is pretty much it for this part. So the main thing with the four ingredients before you start adding them into any of the pots you're gonna want to remember to cook them. If you cook them, it adds more effectiveness and a higher buff rate to these. This will end up giving it more potency and durability. So, as it has been said, the more you put into your ingredients and making these kind of buffs and food, the more bang you will get out of your buck. Now, if you do this, this will increase the more effectiveness of what you'll be making here. So, you can choose to chop all of the, your food up if you want to like this, but there really isn't any need to do it. And another cool thing to remember, if you have anything like garlic or rock salt, they both do increase your buff by 10% each, which can also help with the plus side of cooking your meats or whatever you're planning to add to your recipe to make your stew or food right here. And then as well, so you're going to want to do next is to go and get the fire started obviously so then remember to make sure to have some spare logs or grass available whatever you want to call it so we're going to go and put it right here and we're going to go and start that fire right here so we've got two logs right there just in case so the water is going to start boiling like that so then once the water does start boiling you're going to want to start adding in your ingredients so unless they can't fit don't chop them but we're just gonna go and throw that into there and wait for that first white spark and you're gonna want to wait until they turn into chunks like this so you're gonna want to wait for a yellow spark to appear which i think it already did but then once this carries on you're gonna want to go and get your other ones right here and not add them in too fast like i did with the first one right there so we're just gonna go then add our next bit in right there and just give it a little bit more time and you're pretty much just going to be following the recipe right here which is fairly simple so then there you go it should look nice and steamy like this so, so now it is finally complete we'll be able to go and take this off of the cauldron out of the heat right here so now we have the option to add in any garnishes that we want so if you have any rock salt or garlic, this will be a great time to add these options into here. But as well, do remember, if you do not have any salt or garlic, it will be a great thing to add to your stew right here. But if you miss any of the steps, do keep in mind, this will remove less buff. No, sorry. It will add less buff to it, but it will be less potent. Do remember that. So then, 
once you go over here, you can either add this into a bowl or have the option of putting it into a flask. So if we go and just place this right down over here, just very, very gently, and don't do that with your hand, oh god, go and get ourselves a little scoop right here, and then go and get a bowl. This is, should be what it should be like. Oh god, and then just add a bit to there. There we go. I did that very, very badly, but there you go. And then you'll be able to go and have a little bit of eat like that. Very, very simple. Now, if you want to go and follow other recipes, that is just an example. So we did use four mushrooms there, again, as I have said before. So if you do want to come in here, this is the main place where you will get all of your potions right here of ingredients and food recipes so you've got different mushroom recipe right here with a bit of meat that you can go and add in and then right here you've got a different one with some garlic eggplant you've got a lot of different options right here but there we go guys i hope this helped now if you do have any questions i will be more than happy to go and answer down below in the comment section below but i hope this was useful and i hope that this makes sense but as always guys my name is chen Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.